Okay. Now, the symbols for drawing in order to know what kind of line, they have the line symbols, main process, and if it is insulated and lacked and traced, electrical impulse, all those things are there. Okay. So, also at the same time, P and I D. So, if you see here, it is saying that is 39. Okay. 4 inch normal carbon steel. So, what it is telling is, this is the line is coming from the other diagram, which is 39, which is the continuation of that, and coming into this valve. Okay. At the same time, this one, this may be a, the cooling water, this may be a steam, this may be um, uh, low temperature fluid heat transfer. So, they are saying that this is coming from the other diagram 43 and another diagram 45. So, that way they uh, put the P and IDs one, because the whole plant they can put on one sheet, so that's why they will in order to know the continuation from where it came and what floor it came and it should be denoted. And also, the all the valves in order to denote what exactly, what kind of valves are there, gate, globe, three-way and all, also the control valves and all that is drawn clearly and all that, the symbolism will be kept in the plant in some place by that people first time they are coming they will be understand that mechanism and valves and P and IDs. Okay. And at the same time the um, here for pumps, okay, other equipments they clearly they give the drawings and those drawings are also part of the P and ID and uh, people able to understand. Also, they talk about the pipe connections, how the pipes are connected, and uh, what if, if this is a major line, and also if you see that here, it's branching out one to many, and here is a double containment pipe, and this is a bursting disc. So, similarly, all these are put into that, the piping connections and shapes, and process connections and shapes. Because all these things, they may put on a piping diagram and if they are missing something, they briefly give you some description of the process and equipment. And if you see that these are not present properly, that uh, you will be able to identify from that uh, diagram given in the examination. Okay. And also the next one are valve actuator symbols. We have the diaphragm. and a balance and pressure regulator. So, all these are symbolisms keep in mind. Okay. And also, they talk about uh, the pressure reliefs. Okay. And also, they talk about solenoid uh, valves and also other um, kind of instrumentation and how they work on that or pneumatic controls, pneumatic actuated valves, all those. All of them are not on that, but uh, those are the kind of things they use it.